Hi my loves, this is going to be a current energy plus a bonus check-in for Aries, beautiful Aries. Happy Aries season, happy birthday my loves. Um, I felt compelled to do a uh, soulmate twin flame bonus read for the Aries Collective. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, if you stumble across this reading, uh, the title just draws you in. It really truly doesn't matter if you have Aries in your birth chart or if your person does or whatever, right? It's truly about the energy and what your intuition calls you to, okay? So, but this is for you, Aries. Ooh, Aries, the mature woman and great fortune. Aries, you've gone through a great deal of rising above, rising above everything. Okay. This for me is crone energy. Okay. Mother made in crone, right? Like if it's made in mother crone, whatever, right? Like it's, it's, it's this wise energy where you've been through a lot. You see through the facade, you see through people's BS, you know your worth, you know your value, you're confident, you're classy, you're elegant, you're all the things, one, one, one on the timestamp. And you expect mature energy around you in your life okay now great fortune for some of you guys you're wealthy or you're about to come into great wealth a substantial amount of wealth okay is specifically what i'm getting um aries you guys are known to be obviously full of fire full of passion i just heard rage um i hope that you're not full of rage but i do know aries uh they can be very temperamental okay and very quick with the tongue okay um quick to react um so Maybe spirit is coming through and they're saying like, just, you know, if there are any things right now that come up that want to trigger you or that come in to trigger you, just really take it with a grain of salt and keep your composure. Okay. Because great fortune is coming in and we don't want to mess up the vibration, right? Okay. So this also feels like a mature commitment, a great fortunate mature. It's something like, it's like everything you ever wanted. Yeah. Look, 35 showing up. So we have six. 26, which could be an age, breaks down to an eight. This is things that you've been working on, okay? Seeds that you've been planting. And also, it feels like someone who's been working on something else, okay? The pathway, some kind of pathway opening up for you. This is big stuff, big stuff. A lot of transformation taking place. Look at all the butterflies flying along the pathway. That means that you've done it. You've made it, Aries. Your, your frequency is high. You are now the butterfly. You're no longer the caterpillar. You're not in the cocoon. You're not just breaking free from the cocoon. You have taken flight, okay? And now you are flying into your greatest seasons yet. That's why great fortune is here. And that's why we have the pathway, okay? So it's like this very like kind of getting it all energy. And you're just in a really wonderful place, Aries. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. All right, what else for Aries? Tell me about the mature woman and great fortune for Aries. Thank you. A journey. Something arrives. Something arrives, okay? Um, and it's, it's this great fortune here and some kind of pathway. Something arrives and it opens something up. It's number 10 here. Tens become a one. This is about a new beginning. For some of you guys, you are vacationing. You're planning a really beautiful journey. Um, maybe you come into some, you know, a great fortunate, you know, meeting of someone on this journey. But this feels like for some of you guys, occupation. Maybe you're traveling for work. Okay someone's paying you a lot of money to travel for work or or something like that right but this for me is like I said this is the end of a cycle you've arrived at your destination there's some kind of turning point here with the pathway and great fortune occupation you're about to uh, this is job related for a lot of you guys there's many things there's pathways opening up um, or this is about a pathway you opened for yourself and abundance is just starting to roll in okay we have the lovers here bottom of the deck and then the courthouse is about for me contracts soul contracts legal agreements marriage certificates all the things right and then omg look at that right as i get done saying that the mature man shows up and then the house this is someone who they feel like you're on their level they feel like you're on their level aries this person feels like you are their great fortune this is the lovers here. This is this is this is definitely romance. This is some kind of 
destiny, some kind of true love. It's also a choice. Someone is making a choice to journey towards you, come towards you, um, to, to, to really work on something here with you and to fulfill some soul contracts. That's what this is. The house for me is all about, you know, it's 20, but it breaks down to a two. This is about where you belong. This is about coming home. This is about strong foundations. This is about where you feel comforted and safe and loved and, you know, um, protected. And then high honor. Someone was not honorable in the past or they feel like they handled something unhonorably or like without honor, okay? Now someone wants to show you some kind of honor. They want to take like an honorable move, an honorable action. You could see here that they have fired off the cannons, okay? So this is about something coming in and something coming in, coming in quick, fast, like, right? Um, and this thing that's coming in here is a gift. It's a gift, all right? Great fortune, you have a gift, the mature woman, the mature man, you have matches here. They break down to, so six and five, or five and six, whatever, right? Breaks down to what, guys? An 11, 611 on the timestamp, right as I say that, okay? So this is movement forward, and this could be with a possible twin flame with the 11 showing up, you know? Um, this was about, you know, the mature man and the mature woman. It shows that you and this person have been on a great journey, okay, of with the pathway, evolution of the soul, healing, transformation, all the things, right? You and this person have both come into this mature energy, okay? It's been some type of a journey for your guys' connection or for this to take place and transpire, okay? Um, someone is a very hard worker here. It could be both of you guys as, as matches. You guys could be ve both very dedicated to your careers, hardworking. Um, this for me, the, 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 the mature man and the mature women, that's a power couple, especially with, with great fortune, the gift, a journey. I mean, I see this, this couple vacationing together, like not hurting for nothing. This is total power couple energy, very wealthy, a lot of, you know, this is like lineage. This is someone who's, you guys, you guys build something strong together. You truly do. And that's what I'm saying here. This person, they've made some kind of a choice here. They've made a choice in love. And, and the choice is you, Aries. The choice is you. Okay, so let's get some tarot. <laughs> let's get some tarot real quick just to confirm. Um, all right, so let's see. How is this? Um, well, first, give me the overall energy, please, between Aries and their person at this time. Give me the overall energy between Aries and this person at this time, please. If this is your message so far, you guys, claim it as yours by liking and subscribing. It's the world. See, it's, it's, it's completion. Something finally arrives. And again, this could be the World Wide Web. This could mean travel. It's the world, right? So this could mean long distance, all the things. Someone could be um, maybe you met this person on the web, okay? Maybe you met them online, right? Maybe you met them, um, maybe they're watching you online, right? Okay? But whatever it is, this is a completion of a cycle, okay? This brings forth some type of new beginning. Wow, you have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Are you kidding me, Aries? No wonder I felt called to do this bonus reading for you guys. Wow. Destiny arrives. This is what it is. The Wheel of Fortune. Again, fortune shows up in your reading. In your reading. Blech. Reading. Great fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. You guys. Holy cow. How fortunate are you? This gift for me is a jewelry box, okay? With the courthouse and the gift and the home and all the things, this person is willing to go through great lengths to come towards you. They're willing to come through great lengths to come towards you, okay? And I do see this person viewing you as the one. They've done a lot of thinking about this. Also, this is someone who, you know, they've been tending to their own life, their own seeds, their own, all the things. Um, but this isn't a feeling of not feeling satisfied with what you have, okay, um, is what I'm getting off of this right now, okay? It's like you've done all this work, but you still don't feel satisfied. And then you have this, the Ten of Swords that comes out. That's exactly what I mean here. This is a, the end of a painful cycle, okay? So... Maybe your person had to close out some kind of painful cycle here with the world. Yeah, someone's definitely been healing here, okay? And it feels like your person. This person has gone through some type of separation or three of swords. Maybe this person has just finally come to some realizations and hit rock bottom, okay? Whatever it is, they've risen up. They've been in a healing mode, okay? And this is the Ace of Swords right here, okay? This is Archangel Michael's sort of truth. And this is what they want to bring forth. They're praying about something. This person is praying about something. What is this person praying about? 
they're praying about when they come towards you again traveling an airplane possibly flying this is passionate communication also this is a ton of abundance things that you're passionate about flying towards you all at once aries they're praying and hoping that when they passionately communicate this offer that they've been holding on to or that they want to give to you, this is long-term commitment. You guys, this is the real deal. Again, this could be some type of um, uh, like a new job, okay? Like a job. Um, why can't I think of the word right now? Offer. Thank you. A new job offer, okay? This could be an offer that you get accepted at, like on a home, okay? Or maybe you're selling a home and someone accepts your price, okay? And puts in an offer and it's exactly what you want and more, okay? There's really good freaking energy around this, Aries, with the world, with the wheel of fortune, with great fortune, with all of this, okay? But this person is praying that when they come forward, okay, look, we have the four of wands showing up. This could be, could be twin flame, could be a twin flame for some of you, but this is the promise of, of hope and faith and new beginnings and celebration, engagement, um, marriage, unity, all the things, right? A strong foundation and balance, 1111 on the timestamp, right? As I'm finishing saying that. So this is what this person desires with you. And they're hoping that when they come in and they are coming in six of swords, they've learned some lessons here that you'll take them back. Okay. Um, we have the divine masculine showing up an emperor. And then the Eight of Cups showing up in reverse. Okay. And then the Seven of... Okay, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's see here. What is this about? Why is the Seven of... Why is the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Swords showing up all of a sudden here? Okay. Let me switch decks, actually. I'm going to... Let's do different. Let's do Tattoo Tarot. Okay. Clarify the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person had to, um, like in the past, they walked away. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. Seven of swords, clarifying the seven of swords and the eight of cups. This is deception and betrayal, you guys. And then the hermit. Okay. Something happened here where this person feels like they deceived you. Or something happened, some type of deception, okay? This was that whole like healing and, and ten of swords. Something happened here. A very painful ending. And this person feels like they deceived you. They deceived a gift. That's what this is. Okay. So the hermit is showing up. Virgo energy. And then the queen of coins. They hid from their perfect partner. Their perfect match. This also, oh, three of cups showing up. Okay, this is the deception for some of you guys. This person was still, there was a third party. They were they were tied to something else or just energetically tied to someone that they could have possibly been married to with the courthouse and got divorced from. Legal separation, I don't know. You guys will know your, your situations. But the three of cups for me is that. And then the six of swords shows up again. So this is some type of detaching, having to move away. Um, okay, so let's see how your person is feeling towards your connection at this time. There it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and extend this one because I want to dig into death. They're hoping and praying that when they bring in this offer that you're not done. They want transformation here, but there's all this underlying stuff too. Okay, so this is what we're going to dig into right now in your guys' extended. So if you wish to dive into that, you guys, just let me know by clicking the link below. I mean, I guess it doesn't really let me know, <laughs> but click the link below in the description box. It has the extended there. Um, and uh, if you want to book a personal with me, you guys, you can find the info below down in the description box to hone in more on your own personal situationship or twin flame journey or past life soulmate, whatever it is going on with you guys, spiritual guidance, whatever it is. Um, but let's see here. What is the overall outcome? Just for those of you guys, what is the most likely outcome? Okay. In the situation for those of you guys who, who don't feel guided to go get the extended and dig in more. Let's just see what the overall kind of energy is supposed to be here. The lovers, the lovers, and it flew over here on the lovers. So this is going to be juicy, you guys. And then the star in reversed. Wow. 
This is going to be juicy. So this is all about a big choice, some kind of big decision, a big choice, all the all of these things, right? That something has accumulated, something has built up, okay? And there's this great fortune that's about to implode, but there's something else going on here. So we're going to dig into that. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. I hope you enjoyed your video. If you feel guided, you can follow me on YouTube or YouTube, bleh, TikTok and Instagram at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. Um, I send you guys so much love, so much light. Thank you again for all of your love and support. Namaste. Bye, Aries.